Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I hope you guys enjoyed the thumbnail. We had the game warden here at the house. We had the biologists, our local biologists. We have a lot of stuff going on here on the farm. Deer are decimating our fruit trees. We cannot deal with the deer. We can fence them, but they work their way through the fence. We put noisemakers, they work their way through that. We put lights up, they work their way through that. So we've got issued permits to dispose of deer. We also got issued permits because we have a problem with the pond, a huge problem that's going to tear our pond apart. We have a muskrat infestation here on the pond and we're gonna show you guys some cool ways. This is a fun little video about how to catch muskrats. And then we'll come back in the morning with our fingers crossed with Mrs. Stony Ridge and see how the trapping works. So come along today, we're gonna to show you where they're making the damage spots, what they're doing. They're undermining the dam that we're standing on right here. And they're also way back in here. So they're swimming across the pond. I can legally hunt them with a rifle. However, I'm not gonna sit out here all day long and wait for a muskrat to pop its head up. I've got traps. So come along, we'll show you the different types of traps. I think I have five different types of traps for muskrats. All right, woo! Okay, so first thing we've got is step-in post. We have these step-in posts. These are the El Cheapo step-in posts. Do not buy these step-in posts. I don't know what brand they are, but they are from, uh, yeah. I do believe, our local farm store. Uh, but this is why you don't buy them. They're about two years old and that's why you don't buy them. They're garbage, they're absolute garbage. They last about a year, maybe a year and a half. You need a five year post. We don't need a very long post, so this is okay. We'll get rid of that guy. What we're gonna use these for is to stake down our traps. And the traps that we have, I've got several of them back here. Woo, let's just knock everything on the ground real quick. I've got several traps back here. This is a muskrat trap, okay? This cage right here is a muskrat trap. You set this in the entryway to where they go into their nest and they go in through there and they can't get out. Now, we are disposing of muskrats. We are not expecting muskrat survival, okay? We're trapping muskrats because we have a serious problem here in our pond. There's a pond here and there's a pond across the road. It's like a swampy area and they're coming in from the swampy area and undermining my dam. We're gonna show you all the traps really quick and then we're gonna show you the damage areas and then we're gonna set the traps. So this is one type of trap. If you flip it upside down, you can see straight through it, see? But if you flip it over, these two little doors fall down. And the mouse gets in there or the rat gets in there and it's gonna be a big old rat in there. It gets in there and it can't get out. So that's trap number one. I'm gonna save the coolest one for last. We've got a really cool one. This, one, this is an awesome muskrat trap. So trap number two, Two is this little stand, okay? All this stuff's still in the bag. So this stand gets stepped into the ground right here and a trap, a number 110 trap goes in place right there. I think it's called a number 110. It's this critter right here. And this one, is this thing set? No, it's not set. Thank goodness, ooh, that would be bad. So the way this trap works, and this is this is fun, man. This is just country living right here. Um, not that it's fun to kill a creature because every creature that comes to your farm uh, brings eight more creatures to co that come to your farm. So for every one species you can keep on your farm, eight more species thrive. That's why I didn't wanna get rid of the muskrat until they became a problem. And now I, I have to do it because it's gonna cost me tens of thousands of dollars if I don't do this. So guys, I'm an animal lover, so please uh, understand. I'm also an animal eater too, so. <laughs> um, so this trap, you squeeze these little handles together and boy, I hope I don't pinch my finger. You squeeze those handles together just like so, okay? And there's a little trigger set right here. This is the little trigger, okay? And this is how it works. So you put this little notched critter right on that trigger just like so, and pray that it doesn't get your hand. Come on, baby, don't you get me. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm nervous, this is my first time trapping. So what happens is the muskrat swims through that, 
and the, the trap closes on it and that's it. It might jump off of the trap stand, which is this critter right here. This is the stand for the trap. Um, it may jump off of the trap stand uh, at some point, but uh, I've got to figure out how exactly this goes in here. <laughs> it, may, it, may, it may trip the stand. So let me show you. The muskrat goes in, it touches this critter right here, which throws the trap, just like that. And that's bye-bye muskrat, okay? I'll figure out how all this goes in, but it goes in some sort of way like this. I stick this right in the path of where they swim into their hole, they swim in, and that's bye-bye muskrat, okay? Uh, the next trap that we have, and we have two of these. These are little steel traps. I believe they're called, uh, they're Duke traps. I believe they're called 110s. And all this stuff I got at Southeastern Outdoor Supply in Figsboro, Virginia. So which is a, they're a really, really cool store. Uh, and they gave me the advice that I needed in order to get this done. So this is going to be something that I step on, but this is a standard like steel trap. So let me, the trigger mechanism's right here. This little dude right here sets in the trigger mechanism and keeps it open, okay? This is open, and what happens is the muskrat, this trap will sit on this float, just like so, okay? Just like that. You're gonna put your bait right up here on the top, and the muskrat's gonna step on this right here to get to your bait, and it's gonna trigger the trap. Then it's gonna fall off and the muskrat most likely will meet its demise. So all these traps will be lethal to the muskrats. We do have a permit for 25 muskrats and this thing just floats, pretty cool. Interesting little setup. So we will have this tethered, everything will be tethered. That's what the uh, uh, step-in posts are for. You can see it's got a little notch and this is a homemade critter made by the guys at Southeastern Outdoors. So that will have a string in it and that will be out there floating in the pond up in the upper end where the muskrats are coming through. Now they've got nest right here in the dam and the dogs went nuts yesterday when I brought them over. So let's show you where the nests are. So you can see, man, I, I like to keep a nice place. I've planted these flowers out here, but here's one of our nests. So they're going in and out right here and they're undermining this area and we put this pipe in, this standpipe in. So they're right on top of the standpipe and they're burrowing all back through here. And eventually water will find its way into that and it will wash our dam out through here. So that's spot number one. Spot number two is just a few feet away right here. And this is where the dogs were kind of digging. You can see that's gonna be a prime spot to put a trap. I'm not sure if a muskrat isn't looking me in the face right now, but uh, that's where they're going in on spot number two number and you can see these are the trails that's a that's a trail where the muskrat's been going in and out so it's going in and going under the dam right here destroying our dam now there's a spot way over here we're going to walk over there so oh we got a big old muskrat right here <laughs> <laughs> life is never dull on the farm <laughs> final big nest right here so look at how much they're undermining up in there look at that these are lights so i got these solar lights they're from that way there man they look beautiful out on the pond so they're all around the pond and they reflect on the pond this company actually uh sent me these lights and sent me a discount code i'll post it down in the video description very very nice solar lights but this is what we got so this is a prime candidate look at how deep they're undermining the dam right there this is the dam that's horrible, horrible, horrible problem. So we're gonna show you how we have to set this steel trap right here, but first I've got to figure out on my own. I think the bait goes up here and you just tack, you take like a thumbtack and tack it up here. I don't know if I have something to do that with or not, but we're gonna figure something out and we're just gonna use a carrot. That's all we're gonna use because uh, muskrats, in case you don't know, they are root eating critters. So we'll just use a carrot and we might just take that carrot and stick it right there. It's just that easy. Um, who knows? So here we go with the steel trap and uh, we're gonna set it down on the ground. We'll open the trap just like so. Spread these guys out, lay our trigger over and raise that guy up. Ooh, that's really, really tight. Now we'll step back and our trap is set. Here's how it goes off. So if something touches it, bam. So we'll put again, one of these steel traps on this side and one on this side. And this will be the pedestal that they have to climb up on in order to uh, get to the carrot. 
Just gonna tie this in a couple knots and I wanna leave probably 20 good feet of string on here. I've never done this before, so. <laughs> uh, if Randy Newberg's watching, you tell me what to do. If any of you guys have ever trapped muskrats, let me know. We'll go ahead and take our trap and our trap needs to be also tethered to this board right here. So we'll get both traps in place and we'll let this guy, this is the floating trap, it'll float out on the water. I'm gonna set my next trap. Down we go, step on it. You guys know how it works now. You're old pros at this now. This is gonna be floating out on the water. I'm gonna take a zip tie. There we go. First we gotta set the traps on the dam and we're racing daylight. Okay, here's how the trap stand works. And this is, <laughs> this is like a Rubik's cube, man. So this goes in the ground, stuck in the ground, right at the nest site. And this slips right over top, almost there, right there. So it just sits right there and they trigger that little, little spot right there. So we're gonna go ahead and step this in the ground right by this other hole. That on the ground, slide this critter on stand stake it down with one of our stakes and that's ready for a muskrat right there the more i think about this the more i think i should have got more of these traps we'll let the other one float and we'll put this one in the hole on the other side trigger set let go bam cool we're going to lay this in the other hole but first we're going to go set the trap free so guys, rest assured, I'm an animal lover, but I'm not a lover of the destruction of my property. When it comes to them destroying my property, I've got to take care of it. So we're going to go ahead and set these traps and we'll see you guys with Mrs. Stony Ridge. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> First thing in the morning. All right. Okay, guys, we're at the house. The pond is over there and Mrs. Stony Ridge and I walked around yesterday and found that there are more muskrat signs than we thought. Am I right? Oh my goodness, yes. There's a lot more than we thought there was. Yeah. A bit more damage than we had anticipated. Lots more damage. So they're in like four spots on the dam. So cross your fingers that we're putting a... <laughs> a a bite into this situation. I did put out more live traps. So I put out the traps that we showed on the channel and I put out some other live traps. So maybe we'll have more muskrats and we can relocate those to a river or something like that. Uh, let's go over there and check the traps. I'm gonna be totally disappointed if we don't have anything. Oh, I hope we do. Oh, fingers <laughs> crossed. <more>. Yeah. <laughs> Things do not look promising, do they? It's see, a bit quieter than I hoped it would be. I see one trap that's not tripped. No luck there. Uh, no luck there. I don't know. The carrot's still in it. We're going to check the rest of the traps. Oh, fingers crossed, man. Looks like, ah, oh, the other trap isn't tripped either. I thought for sure we'd have one. Oh, we got to have one. There's got to be at least one muskrat in this situation. Man, it's not looking good except for the floating trap looks a little suspect. So let's head over to the floating trap and see what's up. So we covered up this hole to see if they were coming out of the hole. I see no results from that. This trap obviously did not work right here. Um, and I put some muskrat like bait on there and I also put a carrot right there. Nothing came out of that hole. Uh, put a live trap right here with some muskrat bait, nothing there. This is a bummer, man, this is a total bummer. We've only got one other opportunity up here, so let's go up and check that out. Totally bummed, totally bummed, man. So let us let me show you the tracks. So these are little muskrat trails right here. There's a little trail right there, and there's a little trail right there where they've been coming out, and I set this trap right in that trail, so whew. Man, they're really tearing up the dam. They really are tearing up the dam. So, I, man, I don't see where any trap worked. I don't see where anything worked. So the floating trap is right here and it's not working. We're gonna relocate the floating trap. Man, nothing worked, nothing at all worked. This, this uh, hole right here did not work. Uh, we set a trap there too. Uh, and I just stepped in it and almost sunk up in it. So, I think we've got one more trap set down here and it looks like it's not tricked either. Final trap check right here. Not tripped. 
Well, wish us luck. Guys, if you have any tips on catching muskrats, tell me what we're doing wrong here because ah, this is horrible. This is a bad thing for the farm. Uh, let us know if you have any tips and we'll keep you updated for sure. Check us out over on Facebook too. I'll we'll get some good update photos and stuff like that. But ooh, bummer. I don't know what to do. Yeah, not as much success as we hoped for the first day, but yeah. we're not giving up. Can't sit out here with a shotgun all day waiting for them. So we're trapping. We're going to see how it works. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for joining us. We've got an infestation here on the pond. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything works out. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right? Woo! Woo! This is real life, man. This is what really happened. Come on.